Well, this isn't something you see every day. Um, you know, I feel like things around the channel, I, I, I got some explaining to do on what's going on. Uh, you know, I've, I've started, I've revived my Twitch. We, we did a four hour live stream on Twitch and it felt like it was nothing. It, it's different in this sense. You know, I'm really, I don't know if I'm walking back from any of this. I don't think I ever will. Especially when you have views that look like this. When you can go into a world and have running water in the background, all the birds, all the peacefulness that you get. I mean, how, how can you walk away from stuff on, something like this? So, you know, I, I wanted to showcase a few things here. I, I joined a community night with a crap ton of people like a i mean an immense amount of people that was like the most chaotic tfq <laughs> thing ever yeah it was yeah <laughs> that was literally like that the end of bad water basin you. right there <laughs> why am i getting booped and moving <laughs> boop take me i will when he gets the oh wait take those wait Ooh, oh, giant that I sword i like swords Wait, what about the or something? Where, where, yeah, I've been doing push-ups. Hey, let's go! I Fire think it's just... Let's see. No, that's the one! I will take it with you in a second! If anybody wants a good RTS game... I got some of them. They are billions. Hi, Foxy Boy VR, how are you? Thank you, Jake. There was like 30, 40, 50, 50 different people. They were all of the furry fandom in that sense and we we just played games we we played a crap ton of games and the stuff that i saw was absolutely amazing and i think this is where anyone that's new to the community like myself right now you you walk into something like this not having a clue what you're actually getting getting yourself into you know it, i just happened to be sent something for the channel we've run this i've run this channel for for five years now um I, I i'm saying five years yes the channel's over 10 years old um but i didn't really take it serious and now i'm feeling like i got to take it a little bit more serious in that sense and i think the content needs to be a little bit more on point and i think that's where i am right now is in a space where i can create something and just it can be more expressive in general where else can you go like yeah i could walk out in the real world walk around stuff like this but i won't be able to do this in winter time in winter time it's going to be snow covered these types of things are absolutely amazing to see. This this is a really detailed world. I got to say I've never seen I haven't seen one this high definition before. It, it's absolutely amazing. You're new to the fandom, you're you're new to VR chat, you're new to everything that happens to be furry related and you kind of have to sit back and you have to sit there and go, "Are you crazy?" Have you lost your entire mind? This is everything that I ask myself. What have you done? Where Where is your mind right now? And that has been one of the biggest things for me right now is, is my mind clear and focus on, on what really matters right now? Just makes things feel so much different. When you have a VR set, you're looking at yourself, you, you literally see yourself and then you realize there's a duality and that duality has always been there and that's that's where i'm at right now it, it, it's a very very strange place for for someone that has ignored all of this for so long I, I, you know i think back to the role-playing days with dungeons and dragons i was always drawn to some sort of animal listic back with vampire the masquerade always always having to have something unique always having to be that different person and i'm not normal i can tell you right now i am nowhere no normal of a person uh, you know if normal really exists and that's been part of it part of the entire essence of doing these things you know i'm blessed um that i am married i have a wife we've been married almost 18 years we have a kid um and now, but the last long time here has been literally struggling to survive. And now I'm actually able to listen to myself again. Uh, you know, back a long time ago, my, my inner 
voice or inner animalistic uh, tendencies at the time when you, you live on the streets for for seven months you you you, you kind of sit there and you go well what do i listen to who do i listen to and i tried to listen to myself and tried to stay on a path that was away from drugs away from you know lots of alcohol yeah yeah i'm, I'm not gonna lie i've had my drinking days those are kind of few and far between now i don't no, i don't drink nearly as much and sometimes when we stream i have like two maybe Maybe uh, if it's a good stream, I'll have like a few more, uh, and ju you know, just get loosened up and do other things. But those are all as a responsible adult. That That's the difference here. And that's where I find myself now. I find myself in the middle of all of this as a very mature adult. And I can sit there and I go, okay, some of the people... I've seen what, where some of this leads. I've seen the people that want to go down that route where, where things get a little bit more risque. And I got to tell you, that's not me. That's never been me. And you, if you, you guys know with the channel, especially when it came to like Baldur's Gate 3 or, or Cyberpunk, there's certain things that happen in these video games that I just sit there and I go, that is not stuff I want on this channel, and that's not something that I want to promote or, or do anymore. Um, at the same time, even talking about those things, even bringing them up to me, just has this emptiness inside of me where it's no longer about those things. It's no longer just a video game anymore, and now I'm in a, a, a world where you have a creative mind. And I just see things now completely different, completely different being able to sit here. And, you know, the little bit of clips that I, I, I gained some clips from the community night that I went to. It's America. Let's see. I'm going to say. This is pretty fucking sad. So it's somewhere in California because it's like sad. Somewhere here. Oops. No, it's no, Georgia has a lot more trees. Hey, hey, first, bro. Yeah. Georgia's Georgia. Bro, I'm thinking here to legit legacy. What's that skyline, though? No, bro, that is fine. You think that'd be off for another time? Bet. We can do that. Is that? No, it's somewhere between Ohio and fucking... Just being able to run around and play games and just in vr with a ton of people that have the same sort of mindset where you just start to ignore all the bad stuff that's going on in video games and in media right now, all the things, all the Twitter drama is pushed out of your life. You, you don't have time to even think about it because you're in here, you're in a virtual world that is completely different. I don't know where to take it at this point. I have so many things going on. I've got to take one step at a time. When you walk into a world that looks like this and you have the peaceful birds in the background, you have just a background and water and trees it, it's it's something else and i gotta say it's absolutely amazing the worst thing about all of this is the way youtube treats it in the algorithm you know I, this is more of me trying to be inspired and motivated to something more i look up and i see trees and i see the landscape around me right now and it's not something that you normally would get yeah you can go out in normal nature but it's not something you can normally get and of course youtube treats this as animation but this is more than just animation at this point this is literally just taking it all in going out and and sniffing the ground or, or the graphs yeah i can't actually experience that right now looking around but i'm experiencing it in a different completely different eyesight di different mindset at this point i mean look at the water look at the water it looks amazing in vr and i hope it translates into the video very well because it is amazing it's so clear like i feel like i can scoop it up but i can't because it's not real I tell you looking looking at yourself in vr just seeing things so much more and so much more vivid detail at this point it's completely taken me back and i've met a lot of new really nice people uh in the community if you guys came over to the twitch channel that i've now revived yes i'm going to be streaming on twitch i've uh, set it up 
I'm going to be trying to stream Friday nights in VR chat. Um, just a chill stream in VR chat at this point, because I think this is a very positive and healthy environment. Um, I still want to play video games. I just, I, I, I got to get past this shutdown that I'm in. I'm, you know, I, work is taking things completely off the rails for anything I do. I sat here racking my head going, okay, I need to make some sort of video. And I was like, I'm just going to hop in VR and we're going to talk. And I mean, this is where I'm at now. I, I have a total different sense of who I am or and, and the journey that we've taken in the last two months. Things have gone completely different. And it's really made me walk back. I, I'm working on an actual story, I, you know, there's a lot of things around the channel that a lot of people don't understand, especially about me, who I am, the experiences of life that I've gone through. Those experiences in life has really led to this. And it's not that I always thought that I, I thought things were like this in the first place. I never did. I never thought that this was a fandom that I would fall into. And that's where I'm at right now. I, I've completely, I've completely landed on my ass. Uh, there, there was a rabbit hole at one point, but the hole is so deep now, there's no coming back from it. And that's where we are. Like, I mean, what do you, what do people, more people want? I just walked in that tree and this collision to this tree. I can like hit this tree and it like, it's there. It's solid in that sense. That's, that's crazy. There are people that have full on suits that actually, they can feel things that happen in, in these spaces. And so that would actually hurt them. The, you know, here we go. Another waterfall. Like how, how can you not just enjoy scenery like this? And yeah, yeah, I'm a bird person at this point. So who who the hell cares? So what? I'm I'm portraying myself as a bird person or <laughs> like the channel has always been someone with an obsession with a phoenix and that's something that I've always had. I you know, I've grown this channel under that motif. Growing under the idea of a phoenix. The one thing with when we played Magic the Gathering, the one thing that I was always drawn to were the Phoenix cards, trying to build something more around that. So, does this only just not make sense at this point? It, it To me, it just, it just falls into place, and I never thought it would be anything more than that. I never thought there was, there was a different way to actually look on the outside at these things you know like i said i've made i've made some really neat friends some really amazing friends in the last little bit and that was sorely something that i was missing in my life um you know maybe it's unhealthy but i've also been told that the the unhealthiness will go away in time right now i'm at the point where i'm kind of obsessing over vr chat and i have to say it's absolutely amazing and you know i'm i'm on the fence right now i i i want to turn it and turn this into the full you know the full monty and have full-on physics right now it's just two controllers in my hands that kind of simulate what's what you're seeing and the headset when i look around and move around that's the headset moving trying to do things in the digital world and you know when it comes down to like movies like the matrix i saw that movie so many times I saw that movie over and over and over and over again. It, it was the type of world that I wanted to live in when I saw that movie, when it came out. And now, where are we? Hey, hey, I'm, I'm truly living something that I, I obsessed about so many years ago. I obsessed about it so much. I even went out and had the trench coat. Like, come on. How ridiculous does things need to get at this point? in the world how how ridiculous do i have to be at that point when you look at things like right now this looks like i can bend over and actually see and and move the foliage and move things around it's it's just breathtaking
It really is breathtaking going back to cyberpunk there. Oh. The, the worst thing about this, probably the worst thing about this is I now feel like I'm at home. That's probably the, uh, the thing that takes the cake the most. Anyway, have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm your uh, proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. Uh, I'm going to sign off here. And uh, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.